what part of your defense do you feel like besides like the front seven is going to be able to really make it difficult for opponents to open up their playbook? Well, I mean, you hit it. I mean, our front seven is back. We've got, uh, we were young on the defensive line last year, but all those guys are back. They're bigger. Um, they've worked extremely hard in the off season to uh, improve their mobility as well and strength. And so, um, um, and like I said, we just lost one linebacker. Um, and so, we uh, and he was an outside linebacker, so we've got our two inside guys back, and those are the ones that do most of the communication and um, kind of are the quarterbacks, the defense, so to speak, and both those guys back. And uh, so we really feel like you know we we feel really good about our ability to pressure. We feel good about our ability to uh, you know um, force offenses to you know to. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be a little better against the run and force them into situations where they don't, um, you know, aren't necessarily comfortable throwing the ball. And even then we feel like we're going to get good pressure. You know, kind of like I mentioned earlier, I think our secondary is where we're going to need the, work, the most work. We feel good about our guys coming back there, but they've got the least amount of experience. Um, so looking forward to this spring, see how those guys have developed. Um, like I said, we've got a lot of guys that were young and um, – we're good football players, but just weren't quite ready last year. So, um, so we'll we'll line it up this spring and see how they are, and keep developing keep developing them through the summer, and and uh, and uh, we just you know hopefully we'll be better. Yep, and coach, you got Braden Tyson coming back for his sophomore season. We saw what he did last year. Uh, talk about the the quarterback position, uh, how it stands heading into spring, and then maybe how open the wide receiver position battle is going to be for you guys? Well, a quarterback, um, we have C.J. Franklin coming back, who started the majority of our games last year. Um, C.J. is a, you know, he's a um, 6'1", about 200, 205-pound pound quarterback for us that um, you know, throws a really good ball, has some good mobility, um, and uh, – you know, has a good amount of experience for us as well. So he's got a year under his belt in the system, is comfortable with it. So we feel extremely confident about him. We've also got a really – we've also got a rising sophomore quarterback named Gary Chapman, who was phenomenal for our ninth grade team last year. You wouldn't have even recognized a Brookwood ninth grade team because we actually threw the ball with him about 80% of the time on our ninth grade and, and also had a really good year. They lost one game last year on our ninth grade, and, and Gary was slinging it. Um, we got a young quarterback coming in. Um, named Maddox Simmons, who uh, pretty pretty highly touted as an eighth grader, um, and so also with that we've got a couple of guys named Will Hagelgen and um, and uh, Ashton DeFridis, who have done well for us, been good kids in our program. And, uh, so we're excited about the whole position coming back and a wide receiver. Uh, we don't have a whole lot coming back. We've got. Um, like I said, Lee Niles was phenomenal for us last year. He's going to Georgia military. And and, and so we've got uh, – but we've got some some guys who will challenge at the position. I mentioned Will Hagelgen already. Um, a guy named Chris Brunson who's going to play some corner for us as well. Day-Day Pearson, and we've got a lot of other ones who will challenge to do some good things for us.